The next step is to insert a Smart Art graphic. To do this, we go to the Insert menu and click on Smart Art. There's quite a variety of different uh, graphics that you can add here. I think we've looked at these once before. We're going to scroll down or go to the processes. I guess we could scroll forever. We want this big arrow. Find it and click OK. Uh, first thing we want to do is to change the color because we want this in pink. No, oh, that doesn't look like pink. I'll take that one. It still doesn't look like it. Here we go. It looks closer. I believe that's the closest we're going to get. You'll notice there's a text box for each one. And the text just kind of repositions itself as you type. So I didn't get that one a capital. So you put those words in. And now we're going to change the color again. This time it's going to be it's called Accent 5 down here. So we'll take this blue one, although that doesn't look the same color. I think ours is a little different because we have Office 2010. And then the word sold, we want to make it stand out a little more. So we want to make it a red font. I think I'll do that dark color and bold. And it's going to be 44 points, so it just stands out a little bit more. Underneath, we're going to type another line. And this needs to be in 48 point. And what is our font size? And we'll type it and figure that out. Join us for this great cause. I like that, and we're going to work on it this time through the dialog box launcher. Under the font, you'll notice we don't have quite the same things that it has here. We're going to go to the bold italic. We've got the 48. We don't have the shadow. That was in the last version. But we can go, well, let's see what's under text effects. We can put a little gradient line on the outside. And then we go to the advanced. We're going to change the spacing to expanded and by six points. Whoops, I went past. And click OK. It looks I missed getting it changed to a different color. All right.